Make it so you can make the ultimate three layer chocolate cake. Start by preparing your cake pans. Grease three nine inch round cake tins with butter. You can use a piece of paper towel to help evenly spread it out. Next, pour in a small amount of cocoa powder or flour. This is going to help ensure the cake can be easily removed after baking. Gently tap and swirl the pan to evenly coat the bottom and sides with the powder. When you're done, tap out the excess into the cocoa powder you're going to use for the cake. Set the pans aside and in a large bowl, combine three cups of all-purpose flour with granulated sugar, more cocoa powder, you're going to need a lot for this cake, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and to add a little sophistication, a quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom. You only need a little bit of cardamom to elevate the flavor of the cake. Once all the dry ingredients are well combined, it's time to add the wet, starting with four large eggs. Next, pour in one and a half cups of buttermilk. If you can't find buttermilk, don't worry, you can easily make a substitute. Click on the link in the description to learn how. Now add warm water, half a cup of neutral oil to keep the cake moist, and finally, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Use an electric mixer or whisk to combine everything, but be careful not to overmix. You want the ingredients to be just combined. Divide the batter evenly between the three prepared cake pans. Each will take about three cups of batter to fill, then bake in a preheated 350 degree oven for 30 to 35 minutes. When they're done, allow to cool in the pan for about 15 minutes, then you can use a knife to gently separate from the pan and invert onto a cooling rack. The cakes now need to cool completely before you can frost them. Speaking of frosting, let's prepare that while the cakes cool. Add one and a half cups of very soft butter followed by eight ounces of softened cream cheese to a large bowl. Use an electric mixer to whisk the butter and cream cheese together until light and fluffy. Next, add more cocoa powder, I told you you need a lot, and whip again until combined. To make it sweet, add icing sugar. You'll need a lot of this too, about seven to eight cups added gradually and mixing in between until it has the right flavor and consistency. Add about one third of the frosting to a piping bag and carefully pipe a circle around the edge of one of your cakes. Now you have a barrier for when you add a large scoop of frosting to the center and use a spatula to evenly spread it out. It doesn't need to look pretty, this is going to be the middle of the cake anyway. Repeat this with the other two cakes until you have a total of three layers of frosted cake. Spread the remaining frosting around the edge of your cake, trying to keep as even of a layer as possible. You could serve it now, but to add a little decorative flair, use the back of a spoon to press down, then quickly pull up to create these little curls all over the top and sides of your cake. This cake is seriously so decadent and moist, you've got to try it. Check out one of these other great recipes and subscribe for new daily content.